Hey, so what is up, guys? It's your boy Jam. Today we have some amazing news from World War III. Uh, so they released their World War III dev vlog, and they're just talking about the strategic partnership that we have, or that they have with my games, and how they're still gonna have creative control over it. It's just that they're helping them with like, I guess, maps and other things, such and such. But I was looking at everything that they put, and they have the 2020 plans down in the dev vlog. I'll probably have it in the link in the description below, so you guys can also click on that, so you guys can read it for yourself. But the 2020 plans is Asian theater of war. So far, World War III has been limited to Europe, but that has never, but that was never the plan. This year, we are expanding to new territories and adding new maps and gear from Asia. More information on the specifics of the Asian theater of war will be coming later in 2020. So it looks like in the picture, I can't really see it. It just shows everything, the world map for 2020. So in 2020, we should have new maps uh, in Asia and new stuff to new gear and equipment from that, I guess. And then new maps, strikes and weapons. Apart from the themed Asian theater of war content, we will also update the game with more content from all around the world. More toys to play with, new vehicles to drive around in and new things to drop on the enemy. We're also planning to look back at existing maps to implement some of the feedback we got from you to make them a better experience for everyone and better places to fight. Now that seems pretty awesome and I can't wait for that. The new movement system. The already preview movement system is crucial for us in terms of gameplay and pushing forward with more content. We have done a lot of work in preparation for expanding the game and we're all really happy with how it turned out. New movement system will ele elevate World War 3 in terms of gunplay, the movement itself, animation, quality and future expandability. Honestly, I don't think the movement system is that bad. Maybe I'm just not used to FPS PC games, but if they're gonna expand that and make it better, then by all means, that's, I guess it's dope. Real-time weapon customization. A lot of our players ask about the mid-match weapon customization. This will be possible with the new real-time weapon customization system. You'll be able to switch out attachments in and around depending on the switching situation around you. So that's kind of dope. That's, um, I think Warface is one of the games that you were able to switch your attachments right there on the go, right? So that sounds pretty awesome to do. Sometimes I don't like my big scope on my M4. So maybe that would be dope if I can change that out or maybe change something onto it. New UIs and HUDs. We are tirelessly working on updating the HUDs and developing new customization UI. We, both ho we, we hope that both of them will make the game feel much better our goal here is to make them easy to use when dealing with the new complexity of customization systems. We're also working on tuning it to give us more options to expand and improve in the future. Dope. New progression system. The main goal of the change is to give all players something to do each time they log into World War 3. It does not matter if you are a new player or you've been playing the game for thousands of hours. There should always be something meaningful for you to do and new progression fulfills this goal. Alright, dope. So a new progression system, what is dope? I'm still like level 4 in this freaking game. I'm ranked 4 out of like 44, so <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Alrighty, boys. So overall polishing, performance, improvements. With the core gameplay being near complete, we want to focus on making sure the game is as fun and playable as possible. While we have been constantly working on during, oh, working this during the early access phase, with more and more features being completed, we can put more resources and people into the polishing work that needs to be done. Fixing bugs and polishing, balancing, and overall optimizations are things that will benefit the most from the additional time we have thanks to our partnership with My Games. And at the end, they decided to put, we wanted to say a big thank you to everyone that supported us during early access. We know it's not always easy to trust a company and developers, but we are making games because we love them and we want the best for you, us, and the gaming industry as a whole. Honestly, hearing this, talking about, dude, I'm being impatient, and guess what? Just a few days later, they released the World War III dev update, which is really awesome. I'm glad that they're doing something like this. The dev log, I want to see more of this, and they're saying the game is being so close to completion. Um, hopefully, that's true. Hopefully, we can see something in a couple of months. Um, honestly, I can't wait. They seem like they're really doing something different with this game and i'm more excited than ever new toys new gadgets new weapons new maps oh my god a new ui new hud new um <laughs> i'm just excited dude a new uh, progression system what else what else are they having dude i just it just sounds dope it looks like they're gonna add strikes maybe that's what a pve 
who knows i don't know that it sounds like it's dope being able to customize your gun on the go inside a match is something that's really awesome to do and have honestly i'm glad that i gave this game a chance i'm glad that i'm still playing it and everybody out there that's playing with me in this match right here thank you for continuing to play this game i know i know you guys got into this tdm match because the um the warzone game mode had 30 out of 30 so i know most of you guys just went over here to the tdm to play because why not um other than that boys this devlog is really exciting stuff i cannot wait i'm super excited to play this and this is going to be a really fun thing for us when it does release and come out so if you guys are still watching this gameplay please forgive me i am not a pro at this i freaking suck at this game i am horrible i don't know where everybody's at i'm getting shot from the back from the left from the right it don't matter bro i'm getting shot okay but if you guys don't mind the gameplay and you guys are here because i they released a devlog and i'm trying to be the first one to get on to it boys then thank you very much and i appreciate you guys please don't forget to leave a like and if you're brand new please subscribe another side note too guys i am going to be uploading some new videos of the game crucible released by amazon do not worry i'm not going to stop playing this i'm not going to stop uploading this or we're through all the way babies i'm just you know just doing some uh, crucible Alrighty, boys hopefully you guys did like this and i'll catch you guys next time peace